Well, uh, today I'm with uh, Dr. Phil Parshall, and uh, for those of you that have been involved in missions for any length of time, you know that uh, this gentleman has a, a wealth of experience working in, in countries throughout the world in Muslim contextualization. And so I wanted to just take a moment to let you hear from Dr. Parshall and, and his thoughts on what's going on in contemporary uh, missions in Islamic areas primarily. And then also I want to uh, point you to a few of his books that he has written as well. So, Dr. Parshall, it's good to have you with us. Thank you. And um, tell us a little bit what's going on right now in the world, North America, otherwise, uh, related to, to Muslim missions, Muslim evangelism. Well, of course, the uh, number one thing that's going on is our uh, Muslims are getting very bad press these days through some of the terroristic activities which I think is counterproductive to involvements, uh, say, North American Christians with Muslims. Mm. They become more fearful, anxious, standbackish. And so I, what, I guess one of my major points is Christian love uh, moves us out into maybe uncomfortable areas uh, whereby we can f make friends with Muslims, uh, really get more into their lives, and find out that they're just normal people. As mm. to the bigger scene, Worldwide, of course, you do have the terroristic activity because there are many Muslims that are very angry about the fact that American troops are on Muslim soil in Iraq and Afghanistan and may have involvement then in Yemen coming up. Um, these are all areas that create tremendous, tremendous anger, just hate-filled anger because what right mm. has America have to put their soldiers with all their equipment and their what they can have to overcome uh, local situations, what right do we have to do that in Muslim soil? So right. that's a negative. The positive is I think more Muslims are coming to Christ today than ever in the history of the world. Mm -hmm. I feel very confident to say that. There's some real bright spots out there in Asia particularly. Mm -hmm. Thinking of uh, Bangladesh and Indonesia would be two countries that uh, we've seen the Lord really working. Some of the East, uh, some of the other um, Eastern European countries, there have been some movements. Uh, so I, I would say overall we're very encouraged. Good. There's a downside but there's also an upside and I've been privileged to work among Muslims for 44 mm -hmm. years and really uh, I'd do it all over again. Oh, it's a privilege. Very good. In, in just the short time that we have for, for this, this um, uh, video, can you give us maybe just a few things that uh, if a church or an individual is in, engaging Muslims in, in ministry, can you give us just a few ideas of, of what they can do to, to effectively connect with, minister to them? Well, I think Muslims are basically everywhere in the state. So <clears throat> you just go into schools, you'll find Muslims. You go into the workplace, you find Muslims. You find them in the different stores. We have gone up to Muslims in stores and began conversations with them. Mm -hmm. We find they love hospitality, to have them over for tea or a meal. Uh, there's all kinds of different uh, openings on, on the local scene, on the international scene. I think it's very incumbent upon us to pray that mm -hmm. God will just give some really wonderful breakthroughs. Uh, many Muslims are still very resistant. There are Muslim countries in which a Christian witness is not allowed. There's persecution of Christians in various tight countries. But uh, overall, um, we have enough openings to be encouraged mm, uh, within the international scene. And I, I just really feel that uh, with the new things that are out there in witness and the, uh, the new core of young people who are willing to go out with business as mission type groups, um, I believe there's beginning to be significant penetration. Mm, very good. You've written nine books, is, is that correct? Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I want you all to be aware of the fact that uh, he has many excellent resources that are out there. Uh, can you share with us just a, just a few of your books that if you had only just a few seconds to, to, to share with our, our viewers, what would you recommend that you've written? There's two books that have particularly had more impact than the others. One would be Muslim Evangelism. Again, these two books would be found on Amazon. Um, the Muslim Evangelism book tries to take the issue of uh, contextualization and how to present Christ in Muslim context so that it could be maximally effective. So that book um, uh, has been revised recently, so it has some up-to-date contextualization issues uh, described. And then the other book would be uh, The Cross and the Crescent which is a book taking the subject of spirituality and comparing it between Islam and Christianity. 
And it's written more on a, a lay level uh, to explore behavior patterns as well as spirituality. And so I think those would be the two books, The Cross and the Crescent and Muslim Evangelism. Very good. Dr. Parshall, thank you so much for, for giving us a few moments of your time, and thank you for checking out the video. Make sure you check out uh, these resources that he's written along with some of his others as well. Take care.